Okay, next problem. So, solve the reaction of the supports. So, ito, pagka-reaction, yung sobrang dali lang yan. So, kapag wala namang horizontal component, so vertical component lang binibigay ni A, ni hinge, no? So, that is AX is 0. And then, si RB, ayan. Ayan, si RB. Okay, substitute nyo yung mga values. So, si L1, that is equal to 16. L2, that is 6. L3, that is 19. W1 is 14. P1, that is 30. P2, that is 25. W3 is 24. W2 is 19. Okay? So, kapag ganyan, again, lagay nyo yung mga resultant, no? So, hindi dito si R1, that is R1. O, eto, paano nyo ahatiin yan? So, ako kapag nagahati, inahati ko siya into two parts. Dalawang triangle. No? So, hindi dito yung first, no? And then, ito yung dalawa. So, this is R2, and then this is R3. So, si R1, magkano si R1? Si R1 ay yung asawa ni Ann Curtis. Charis! Si R1. M. R1, that is equal to 14 times. Okay, back to topic. Back to discussion. 16 times 14. That is 2 to 4. Si R2, that is equal to triangle. That is 1 na half na. 24 by 19. That is equal to. 0.5 times 24 times 90. 2 to 8. Or R3, that is equal to 1 half na 19 by 19. Ikalpin na pa rin. Parang hindi maribitan. 0.5 times 19 times 24. That is equal to 180.5. So, kaya ako nagahati na dalawang triangle, parang hindi na ako nag-binus ng W. Hindi pa rin din ako binus ng triangle at rectangle. O ngayon, magmo-moment tayo sa point B. No? Summation ng moment at B is equal to 0, taking clockwise positive, no? kasi equilibrium yan. So, ano-ano yung mga forces na umiikot sa kanya? Nandiyan dyan si AY. So, ano yung moment arm ni AY sa point B? Diba? Ito yung ikot siya. So, ang moment arm niya is 16 plus 6 plus 9. So, that is equal to, pasulat natin para maganda, 16 plus 6 plus 19. Okay, minus. So, ano na mga umiikot ng clock, counter clock, so, nandiyan dyan si R3. So, si R3, that is equal to 180.5. Ano yung moment arm niya? No? Di ba triangle din naman to? So, that is one-third nung base. So, that is one-third nung 19 minus si R2. Si R2 ay may value na 2 to 8. 2 to 8 multiplied by, ang moment arm niya is, this is two-thirds naman, no? Kasi ito one-third yan. Triangle pa rin siya, no? So, that is two-thirds ni 19. Minus, si 25 naman, no? May force ka na 25. So, that is equal to 20. Oops. Naputol. Okay. Pasensya na po. Ganyan po talaga pag-line. Yeah, sorry, Nana. 
So again, ulitin natin. So this is 180. So ito yun, no? So si R3, si R2 pa lang yun. This is R3, this is R2, no? O, punta tayo sa 25. So that is 25. Ang moment arm naman niya is 19 plus. O, di ba L2 over 3 to? Nakalagay L2 over 3. So divide mo lang. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. This is 2. This is also 2. Maganda, swerte yung number. So that is 19 plus 2. Minus 30. Ano naman yung moment arm niya? That is 19 plus 4. Minus si R1. So si R1 ay 2, 2, 4. Ang moment arm niya is, no? That is 19 plus 6 plus kalahati ni 16. So that is 19 plus 6 plus 8 equals to 0. So magkano si AY that is equal to? Okay, using calculator. Ito bang basic pala nang binigay ka ng term? Charis lang. Eh, baka i-bash niya ako. Sabi, eh, sa user mo, umadan. 180.5 times 1 over 3 times 19 plus, no? Kaya-transpose kasi natin yan. Times 2 thirds times 19 my plus 25 times 19 19 plus 21 na lang. My plus 30 times 24. Joke 23. Plus 2 to 4 times 19 plus 6 plus 8. And then, we divide natin sa 16 6 plus so that is equal to 244. So 180.5 times 1 third ng 19 plus 228 times. Excuse me. Parang iba yung nakuha ko. Ulan. Input ko lang sa RQ. 180 times 180.5 times 1 third ng 19 plus 2 to 8 times 2 thirds ng 19 plus 2 to 8 and so plus 25 plus 25 times 19 plus 2 plus 30 times 19 plus 4 plus 4 to 4 times 19 plus 6 plus 19 plus 6 plus 8 divided by divided by ano may namalin na akong type kanina 16 plus 6 plus 19 the answer is 308.248. Ayan yung sagot. 308.248. Kilonewtons. Okay, next. O ngayon naman, pwede kang mag-summation ng moment at A naman, no? Mas sure ka dun sa sagot mo, ano? So, summation ng moment at A is equal to 0, taking clockwise positive, 
So, ano ano yung mga forces na magpo-produce ng clockwise? So, nandiyan dyan si R1. Again, si R1. Ano yung value ni R1? That is 2 to 4 multiplied by moment arm is 16 over 2 or 8. Plus, na magpo-produce na siya ng clockwise moment. Lahat ng mga loading is clockwise. No? Plus, 30. Oops. Masulat ng 30. Times, ang moment arm niya is 16 plus 2. Plus 25, that is equal to 16 plus 4. Plus, si R2, that is 2 to 8. Times, ang moment arm niya ay 16 plus 6. Plus, 1 third ng 19. Plus, 16, ah mali. R3 pala. No, R3, that is 180.5 times 16 plus 6 plus 2 thirds ni 19. Minus RB times 16 plus 6 plus 9 equals to 0. So, magkano si RB? That is equal to I-calculate lang natin. So, that is equal to 2 to 8. Uh, 2 to 4 times 8. Plus 30 times. 30 times 16 plus 2. Plus 25 plus. Uh, sorry, times. 16 plus 4. Plus 2 to 8 times. 16 plus 6 one third ng 19 pagka hindi ka siya no? putol putol yun plus 180.5 times 16 plus 6 plus 2 thirds ni ano feeling ko mapuputol yun ay 19 divided by parang umiga ako. Magpulang parenthesis na. Parenthesis. Baka di ba ako namalikan din. Then, you will divide it by yung distance niya na 16 plus 6 plus 19. The answer is 379.5 5. So, ngayon yung sinasabi ko, ano, kanina nagkamali tayo sa AY. So, dapat kapag chinect nyo yung mga summation ng forces vertical, si R1, R2, R3, equal yan dito sa vertical natin. So, that is 379.252 plus 308.248 minus 224 minus 228 minus 180.5 minus minus 25 minus 30. So, that's zero. So, yun lang. So, kanina nagkamali ako dun sa unang part, pero kung chinect ko siya using summation ng moment, tatama pa rin kayo, no? So, ibig sabihin, kapag nagkamali ka dun sa unang reaction, pwede kang matama sa pangalawang reaction kung moment yung ginamit mo. Pero kung pare, yung ginamit mo is summation ng force vertical na, no? So, ginamit mo si AY, Ibig sabihin, umamali ka sa pangalawa. No? Wala kang pang-check. So, yan yung tamang sagot. Ang dalawang problem na siya.